Hey guys, it's Raz. I I just finished episode two and I'm jumping straight into episode three because like, they kissed. They kissed. And like, you know, Colin, like that, that was a turning point for Colin. It has to be a turning point for her. It might have been an end for Penelope being like, I asked you and you gave me a pity kiss type thing. That's probably what's going on in her head. Colin, that was a turning point. That was that was the little light switch. I'm not gonna ramble. Let's just let's just go back. Cause I feel like it starts right from where we left off, hopefully. Oh my god. Dream? Colin Colin's dreaming. Yep, he's dreaming. He's dreaming. This is Thoughts consumed by what? By our kiss. By you. <laughs> I feel the same. You occupy my every thought. <laughs> I would never dream of courting Penelope Featherington. Who woke up from a dream now? Gregory, what happened? Fell off the roof and tried to keep the seats. Morning, family. You slept late, did I? <coughs> Someone keep you up? Not even dream. <laughs> I think Penelope is quite fortunate to have you as a friend. Yes. Well, a uh, very good acquaintance, family, of course. Are you all right? <laughs> Good day. Dear oh, are we going to get the hot air balloon leader, that we've been seeing still? has accomplished a The suitor, Miss Francesca Mary, must be rich. Must be handsome, Lord Debling. Ooh. Lord Debling spends half his time devoting himself nature and the other half talking about <laughs> it. My mind is elsewhere. I've received word of an unwanted visitor. Her brother. Throw it from our mind. Their friendship is so sweet. There is a visitor, oh, Miss Penelope. Ah! Eloise? Wait, is that Ben's dress from the promos? And it she had not been seen in society for some time. It's quite harsh what she wrote about you. Unnecessarily so, I think. Mm. Where do you think they're coming? A few new books. A few new books. Can you guys just make up? But I do hope you find what you are looking for this season. With Colin's help or otherwise. Stop. Reel it back in. <laughs> Colin lurking in the back. Yes, this is, it's good to see you as well. We cannot continue our lesson. Oh, just so I'm clear, what is your reasoning? Because of what happened between us? No, no, um, nothing of the kind will ever happen again. Of course. We keep our distance for now. Oh, of course. Oh, he doesn't like that! If I secure a proposal, it will be because of you. <laughs> you gotta be giggling and kicking my feet underneath my table. I would certainly rather be predator than prey. That was kind of like a really nice pickup line, considering the situation, you know? Like, she would have got me. You should know, I spoke to Penelope. Did you? What did, what did she say? I apologized for the <laughs> story about you two. Oh, I see. Oh, Excuse me. It is the mark of a good man to help a friend in need. I'm sure because of your kind heartedness, she will find herself a husband in no time. That is, of course, the hope. Is it? Is, is that the hope? Not Benny running away from everyone. How are you? Good evening. <gasps> Good evening. Good evening. You must have done something truly heinous. My poor body neglected dead animals, and they barely tolerate me for that great sin. Well done. For being a fool. For stepping away from the herd. Oh no! Why am I Even liking him, dude? Part. Second male lead syndrome, dude. In fact, I find your frankness immensely refreshing. St <laughs> look at him! Look at him being jealous! Look at him! <laughs> oh no, why do I kind of ship them? I believe you're getting old. <laughs> He's looking at her! Excuse me. Right. <laughs> sugar on my face. No, I'm licking his lips! I'm dead! <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. 
Colin's hero complex. Pen. 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 Seriously. Pen. <laughs> Girl, not the clapping after all of that. Are we gonna get what? Lady Danbury's brother? I believe this is yours. Lady Featherd, may I present what Sir Humphrey Davy calls a lamp? No. <laughs> I really wish I could do that. The mall and those stations come by, and I make contact accidentally with the people. I get stuck. I feel like I owe them my child. This is the moment they call me over. I'm buying whatever they're selling. Mr. Bridgerton, I am in awe of your heroism. Are you just as heroic on the dance floor? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, see, Colin's starting to get a little tired of the flirting. I, there's, there's a shift there. There's definitely a shift there. Oh no. Not the- are they gonna- oh no. Are they gonna race to- I'm crying! Deadly. I must thank you again for saving me in my time. It's so funny. And I can certainly still dance in it. <laughs> Cressida's sleeves are getting bigger and bigger with each scene she's in. I love my family dearly, but it can be rather lonely to be among them all at once, can it not? I believe it to be quite the opposite. In fact, I wish to have eight children of my own. Oh, so I don't know if she wants that. With constant chatter. <laughs> You're rather glum. For my daughter. I'm gonna get her garden plowed? Gonna get her weed snipped? I've made that joke before I hated it. I do not believe I have seen you before. Ah. <laughs> Marcus. Do you have met Ooh. my brother? Your brother? Is she gonna find someone? Is she gonna talk to someone here? Ah? Perhaps we can enjoy the silence together. Oh. I kind of love that. You're kind of cute too. Lady Tilly Arnold. Lady? Are you married? I was married. He died. Oh, I am so sorry. He's not. <laughs> He's so no, sorry. Jesus. Okay, if we were going to have another like little story with Benedict where he, you know, the little slew. Couldn't we, like, have just, like, a little uh, fling with the man? You know, they kind of queer baited in season one, I'm not gonna lie. I'm dancing. I don't even think we've seen Benedict dance. Like, properly dance. To do not work. Does being a part of this world not mean freedom? I can do what I like. Mm, conflict. Conflict in the comfort. Chills, stop. Oh, I like how they did that. Oh. I want to be with someone who knows who they are, as I believe you do as well. Guys, how is he getting me more than Colin right now? Cressida's sleeve is bigger than life. Eloise's head and her head combined. <laughs> look at him, look at him. He's like a grillin'. But I thought you believed the best foundation for great love was friendship. How did you and Father know it was reciprocated? Because he gathered the courage to ask. Is she, is she, is she catching on? Is she catching on? Is she? Not nah, him trying to seek her out. Colin. What's going on? There is a question. Dude. I have been needing to ask you. Dude. Question? The innate animal impulse that is inside even the most sophisticated of us. Our nature will always win out. <gasps> oh, that was intense, y'all. Okay. 
can someone sign this woman's dance card? Can we just get one scene of that? She knows. Look at her smile. <laughs> oh, God. Look at him in the corner, dude, all alone. Suffice it to say, Look at this him. author is captivated. Oh, I kind of feel bad. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Between man and himself. Dude. Okay. Dude, a lot to take in. Colin, he's, he's, there's that switch going on. It's clear. It's clear to us. It's clear to Violet now. Still, I do want uh more more conversations between the two because i feel like because of the distance that penelope asked for we haven't really gotten much of like colin and pen hopefully in the next episode we get that because it's the last episode we have anyway everything else we got a little bit more of benny boy who is enthralled by lady tiddly eloise has grown up like i could feel it i could feel it in the way that she maneuvers herself she's still eloise there's less judgment when it comes to like women that want stuff that she doesn't want that balance there being able to remove herself from those situations but not judge the women for it i feel like we're getting there we're getting there violet and lady danbury's brother franny and that man outside by the fire there's a lot, y'all. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. But, hey, hey. I heard rumors in the next episode we're getting the carriage scene, maybe? 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 So, see you at the next one. Bye!